Hey everyone, Donna Vincent here. Today I want to do a, re a review for you of all the February dog food recalls. There's been so many this month already and it's only halfway through the month. So I wanted to do a quick review for you. Before I jump into that, welcome to my video. I help healthy entrepreneurs master online marketing and create an abundant life inside and out. So let's take a quick run through of the recalls for February. The first one that happened was February 3rd and that was Avengers dog food. And this was because of the bentobarbital, the euthanizing drug that kills a dog and one dog also now has seizures because of it. The lot numbers are included here in case you need to check that out if you're using this food. The next one is PetSmart Great Choice Dog Food. And this is the Chicken and Rice Classic Ground Formula. And this is because of metal contamination. You'll start to notice a pattern with the recalls that have happened this month. Then we go to, again, February 8th, Giant Food Stores on Companion Dog Food. I couldn't get pictures of this one, and I've never heard of this food. It's their chicken and rice, chicken, lamb, and rice formula, and turkey and bacon formula. So if you have any of these foods, you may want to just discard them or take them back to where you purchased them from for a refund. Then on February 13th, Blue Buffalo had their own recall, again, for metal contamination. And it's the Homestyle Recipe Healthy Weight Chicken Dinner with Garden Vegetables. The code is included here as well as the best buy date. So you can check that out if you have the Blue Buffalo Homestyle Recipe Healthy Weight Formula. And these are all canned dog foods that the recalls are for. The last one was February 14th, Against the Grain, Cool B4 Again, Bento Barbital. And the code is included here with the best, the expiration date. And this is a euthanizing drug, and if you're wondering how this gets into pet products, it is because of the pet rendering industry. Euthanized dogs and cats, people's pets, are brought to the pet rendering industry. Other animals that are euthanized are included in pet products and it is allowed. So that's how that happens. I will be sending all this information out to anyone who has subscribed to my newsletter. So if you want to be included on that list, you can jump on over to my blog at DonnaVincentOnline.com and you can subscribe to my newsletter so you can stay up to date on whatever's going on out there in the pet industry. Please share this with others who need to see it. I will come back and check comments because I can't see your comments the way I'm doing this live presentation. So I will check back with comments. If you have questions, feel free to private message me. Have a great day.